Hey guys, what's going on? I'm back at PSA because there was so much of an outcry to get more information on the AKs that uh, PSA is releasing. I decided to come on back and do a, a, another video for you guys to provide a little bit more information than what I can provide in the comments. I've got Colton here to help us out to, uh, to talk about the AK-74, the crink, and uh, the AK-556. And we're gonna go in that order because that's basically, from what I understand, kind of the order in which they're going to be released throughout the year. So let's go ahead and start with the, uh, with the 74. Um, tell, us, tell us what do we got going on uh, as far as the specifics go, uh, you know, kind of price point and then when it's going to be released. So this is our AK-74. It will carry a lot of the features of our GF3 into this build, such as the hammer forged bolt, bolt carrier trunnion. Um, we'll also have the true uh, 90 degree gas block, front sight base that's threaded M24, and the uh, correct brake. So it is it is a true clone. A lot of people are asking, yes, these will have cleaning rods. So, <laughs> there you go. <laughs> um, and that's, we're looking to, to release this one quarter two of this year. Okay. And uh, price point's gonna be, I don't know if we've nailed a firm one yet, but it'll be, Around about the six ninety nine, seven ninety nine. Okay, range. and that's probably going to turn on what type of furniture you put on it. That's yeah, right. right. That's okay, right. so, all right, that sounds good. Um, uh, you said uh, second quarter on the release date. As far as the barrel goes, what what kind of barrel are we looking for? Uh, looking at is it going to be like a forty fifty, uh, forty one fifty steel barrel, chrome line? What, what are we working on? So, the first release will have the forty one fifty nitride barrel, uh, just like it was in our GF three. Okay. Um, eventually, we will release another uh, a version of it with a Cold Hammer Forge chrome line barrel. Okay. But that will not be on the first release. That okay. That will be later to come. All right. That works. That works. And then, naturally, if you guys are not familiar, uh, this is going to be the 545 by 39 variant. Uh, so that, that's something that a lot of people have been asking for. Uh, from my last video, there has been an outpouring of support wanting to know when it's coming out. So again, we're looking second quarter, so that summertime frame, 699, 799 ballpark on the price. I think that's gonna be a pretty decent price considering you know, uh, the lack of 74s on the market today. That's right. So that's, that's really good. And then we'll move on to the, I would say, the baby brother or, or sister, uh, I suppose, in their, their crink off variant. Uh, right. So so this is, this will also be uh, a clone. We'll go uh, direct clone on this one. It is the AKS-74U, which is the crink off, as everyone knows it. Yeah. Um, the only, I guess, non-clone feature, we will feature our uh, side folding brace, yep. triangle brace, so that this will be sold as a pistol, not an SBR. Okay. Other than that, True Crinka 545, super compact. Um, it'll be available about a quarter later. Okay. So we're looking probably 90 days after that one releases, this one will be available. Okay. So, uh, again, a shorter design. Do, do you think that there will be an option for an SBR version of this, or are you going to stay away from that? We've discussed it. Uh, it's, not, it's not totally off the table yet. Uh, I know it won't be the first release. The first release will be this. Um, and we, we're still debating whether we want to go the SBR route or not. Okay. And I do remember someone in the comment section of my last video was asking about the PMAGs. Uh, th these are available right now, are Absolutely. they right? Yeah. Okay. So uh, 545 by 39 PMAGs. Uh, I'm assuming you'll ship with one. Yes, sir. Yep. All right. So, and then the uh, left hand, uh, the left side folding brace will be on that as well. You have a picked section on the back of the, uh, the crank that will allow you to adapt a different brace if you want. Uh, so that's, that's something that's pretty nice. Uh, you've got your, your sights that are integrated right here uh, in with the dust cover. So, uh, and this is a hinge dust cover, correct? It is. Right? Okay. So, and then this will carry the same internals, everything else. Everybody asks, yes, it's cold hammer forged chrome line. I'm sorry, it is. Out. Yeah, it is hammer forged bolt carrier and trunnion. Okay, yeah, and then probably the same type of barrel as right. the uh, 74. Okay, and then finally, we are we've got the 556 AK. Uh, and there's a lot of talk about this. I thought I heard something uh, regarding the mag and how it's set up. Uh, can you talk about that? I will. So this is our 556. We have announced or we've, we've talked about a 556 for about two years now right um there were a lot of features in the development phase that we 
realized we could have released it earlier. But there were several things we saw that we were like, you know, we're gonna we're gonna come back and do that immediately as a Gen 2 anyway if we don't do it now. So let's just do it the right way from the start. That's good. Yep. And those features include the last round bolt hold open and an adjustable gas block. Okay. Right. And and it's also upgraded to the RPK Trunnion, obviously 556 five, higher chamber pressure. Went ahead and threw that in there, just extra security. To beat that up extra a little strength. bit, right? right? All right. Uh, was there uh, something going on with the magazine and how it locks in? Something about, I thought I heard uh, that it, 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 you didn't have to remove certain components that would be standard on an AK to allow for the, the P mags or the standard AR magazines. Yeah, so the way this ships, it will take a standard AR mag right out of the box. Um, no adjustment, no modification needed. It'll have our aluminum uh, mag adapter and it will have a functional, well, let's hold open now. Right. Um, and it's not like your typical AK where it holds open on the last round. As soon as you drop the mag, it runs home. Yeah. This catches it and holds it so that you can drop the mag out, load a new mag, and then it's got a bolt release on the backside just like our AKV. Right on, right on. And then you said naturally you have a uh, adjustable gas block right. uh, meant, I, I would assume, for suppression. That's right. Well, it, it's, it, it covers a bunch of things. So your, your 556 is so much more gassy mm -hmm. than your 223. Right. This allows the guys that want to shoot 223, they can shoot 223. They shoot 556, they might want to dial that down so it's not so gassy. Okay. Also, that put us in a good place, quick teaser, uh, once you get this mag in and going, the natural evolution of that was 300 black. Yep. So there's where your suppression comes in. All right. You're definitely going to want to adjust it once you put a suppressor on. All right. So so uh, a rumor mill here is you may be looking into doing 300 blackout in an AK. Absolutely. Oh my goodness. There you go. So uh, there shouldn't be any issues with suppressing this as long as you have the right adapter for your, right. your can, right? That's right. The 5.56 will be half 28 to be more suppressor friendly with the American market. Okay. And the 300 black will be 5H24. Okay. Outstanding. Any other uh, furniture options than, than your standard 74 style uh, furniture? Uh, we will. We yep. will. The, uh, the first iteration will be the classic poly. Okay. Um, it, it just, it's easier to work with on the RPK style trunnion, getting it to index into the receiver. Yep. But we are working uh, with a few companies right now to make a, uh, a furniture set that, that interacts and interfaces well with these swollen uh, right on. So, uh, just so you guys know, on the back side here, you have your standard com block, uh, you know, rail mount right here. So you can mount optics with any standard com block uh, mounting system, whether it be RS Regulate, Midwest Industries. You've got right here. You've got your mag or your bolt release right here. So uh, that's pretty kind of somewhat along the lines of an AR, you know, uh, manual of arms. And then you have your uh, magazine release button right here. Uh, so you're doing away with the paddle release uh, because it is no longer a rock and lock, right? So there's your, uh, there's the uh, AK-556 from PSA. Oh, last, last question, uh, idea on price point for this. Um, I don't know that we've set one yet. Uh, as we get closer to production, obviously we've got a few extra components that go into this build with your adjustable gas block, your mag adapter. So it will be slightly higher than our normal AK line, but sure. not, not much. We're okay. probably $7.99, $8.99. Okay, yeah, that's still, that's still very competitive, especially for what you're getting in this type right. of platform, right? So, And then I would imagine probably fourth quarter this year, uh, no, we're looking at late, late, we're shooting for late third quarter. Okay. More realistically, probably uh, quarter four. Okay. All right. So that's, that's pretty good. I mean, that would be a great opportunity for you guys to jump on something like this for a Christmas present or something like that. So uh, awesome. I'm excited. I hope you guys are excited. We're going to hey, get out of here. Again, if you have any more questions, sound off in the comment section down below and uh, I'll try to get them answered for you guys as best I can. I sure do appreciate everything. Colton, thank you for your time. Yes, sir. And we're gonna get out of here and get you some more coverage from SHOT Show. As always, freedom through strength. Here comes a high five. Catch you guys later. Bye, y'all.